NoHub isn't the kind of Linux command that you'll be using every day, but it's extremely handy, letting you run scripts and other commands with no hangups. Essentially, it keeps commands running until you log out. Here we'll tell you what NoHub is and how best to use it. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to use NoHub command in Linux. There are lots of commands available on Linux systems. There are some that you'll use multiple times a day, and there are others generally reserved for special use cases. NoHub is one such command. You won't be using it every day, but you'll be grateful it's around when you need it. What is NoHub? NoHub is short for no hangups. It's not a command that you run by itself. NoHub is a supplemental command that tells the Linux system not to stop another command once it has started. That means it'll keep running until it's done, even if the user that started it logs out. The syntax for NoHub is simple and looks something like this. NoHub sh your dash script dot sh whatever followed by ampersand. Notice the ampersand at the end of the command. That moves the command to the background, freeing up the terminal that you're working in. NoHub works with just about any command that you run in the terminal. It can be run with custom scripts as well as standard system commands and command line utilities. NoHub.out because NoHub can keep running independently of the user that started it, the command needs somewhere to output any messages or errors. Since there isn't a terminal to associate with it, NoHub logs everything to an output file called NoHub.out. By default, that file is located in whichever directory you started the command in. NoHub.out is somewhat unique because it contains both the standard output and the error output together. NoHub redirects both to the same file by default. You don't necessarily need to use nohub.out though, it's just the default. You can specify a custom output when you run nohub and place it in a custom location. nohub sh your dash script dot sh whatever less than slash path ending with the ampersand. The custom output contains exactly the same data as the standard nohub.out file would. Differences with daemons. By this point, you're probably wondering what sets NoHub apart from a demonized process. After all, they do seem to serve the relatively same purpose, but really don't. Demons run continuously in the background. They're best reserves for processes that you don't want ever to exit, like servers. They require more work to program too, so they're not best for simple one-off scripts. NoHub is for a single use. Think of a script that will take a long time to run, but will still ultimately finish. Maybe there's a long and complicated task that you run every now and again that takes hours to complete. You don't want to leave the terminal open or a user logged in, so you use NoHub to keep it running in the background. As an added bonus, it'll automatically log everything for you. You can see that NoHub isn't an everyday tool, but it can be very useful for the right task. It falls somewhere between a normal short script and a continually running daemon. It helps you to take more of a hands-off approach to longer scripts that you might have regularly wasted time babysitting. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.